The most distant human-made object ever launched into space is NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, which has traveled beyond the boundaries of our solar system and entered interstellar space. Imagine launching a spacecraft more than 45 years ago, a time when computers filled entire rooms and mobile phones were science fiction, and still having it send back valuable information from realms never thought reachable. This is the incredible story of Voyager 1, a bold NASA mission that continues to redefine the very limits of space exploration. What makes this spacecraft so remarkable isn't just its distance from Earth, but also the fact that it still communicates with us today using technology older than a cassette player. Yes, Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, and yet it recently made a discovery so extraordinary that it shook the scientific community and captivated people around the globe. What is this mysterious find from the farthest reaches of space? And what implications does it hold for humanity here on Earth? To understand the significance of Voyager 1's journey, we must first revisit a pivotal moment in space history when two extraordinary spacecraft were launched, forever changing our understanding of the cosmos. This incredible feat was made possible by the brilliance of a NASA scientist named Gary Flandro, working at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. With only a pencil, some engineering tools from the 20th century, and a deep understanding of celestial mechanics, Flandro made a stunning discovery in the late 1970s. He realized that the four outer gas giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would align in a rare cosmic configuration that occurs only once every 176 years. This alignment formed a celestial necklace stretching across the solar system, creating an ideal path for spacecraft to use the gravity of each planet to slingshot themselves onward, gaining speed like a stone skipping across water. Thanks to this gravitational assist, what would normally have been a 30-year journey from Earth to Neptune could be shortened to just 12 years. NASA seized this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, just 15 days apart during the summer of 1977. Their mission was simple yet ambitious, to take advantage of this rare planetary alignment and explore the outer planets in unprecedented detail. Little did anyone know that these twin explorers would go on to break every record in space mission history, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and endurance. More than four decades later, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 remain operational, sending daily streams of invaluable data from the fringes of our solar system and beyond. They are the farthest human-made objects ever launched, having traveled well beyond their original mission plans, which expected them to last only four years. Instead, these spacecraft have exceeded every expectation and continue to teach us about the universe's most distant frontiers. At the start of their journeys, the Voyager spacecraft sent back breathtaking close-up images of the moons orbiting Jupiter and Saturn, revealing worlds far more active and dynamic than previously imagined. They discovered erupting volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, icy plains on Saturn's moons, and complex ring systems that challenged our understanding of planetary science. These revelations transformed our view of the outer solar system forever. Voyager 2 achieved an especially historic milestone by becoming the first spacecraft to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These flybys unveiled astonishing new data about planets that had remained mysterious for centuries, expanding our knowledge of these cold, distant worlds more than 14 billion kilometers away from Earth. What makes these tiny probes so extraordinary is not just what they discovered, but how they did it. Each spacecraft is roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, and they began their journey with technology that seems almost primitive today. For instance, their onboard computers contain only 69 kilobytes of memory, a fraction of what even the most basic smartphones possess. Despite these limitations, Voyager's systems manage the complexities of deep space travel with remarkable precision. Data collected by Voyager's scientific instruments was stored on magnetic tape recorders before being transmitted back to Earth using transmitters that consume only about 23 watts of power comparable to the energy used by a standard household light bulb. The spacecraft communicate with Earth using 12-foot diameter high-gain antennas that send and receive radio waves traveling at the speed of light. Yet, as the spacecraft move farther from Earth, the time delay for signals grows longer by about 3 to 4 seconds every day. For example, 
Today signals from Voyager 2 take over 18 hours to reach mission control. In addition, increasing background noise from Earth's own radio, television, and cellular transmissions makes it harder than ever to isolate Voyager's faint signals. Despite these challenges, these pioneering spacecraft continue to amaze astronomers by making new and unexpected discoveries in the dark, uncharted territory beyond our solar system. Beyond the known planets lies the enigmatic Oort cloud, a vast, distant collection of icy comet-like objects loosely bound by the Sun's gravity, stretching almost to the nearest stars. While the Voyagers are slowly making their way toward this mysterious realm, they first had to cross a more immediate boundary, the heliopause. This is the outermost edge of the heliosphere, the vast magnetic bubble created by the solar wind that surrounds and protects our solar system from the galaxy's harsh environment. Initially estimated to lie about 50 astronomical units, oh, from Earth, NASA continued to support the Voyager missions as they neared this boundary. But crossing it didn't result in the dramatic changes scientists expected. They had anticipated that, as the spacecraft entered interstellar space, cosmic ray counts would suddenly rise. These high-energy particles travel near the speed of light and are emitted by distant supernovae and other violent cosmic phenomena. Within the heliosphere, the solar wind's magnetic field acts as a shield, deflecting much of this radiation and protecting the planets from harmful exposure. The Voyager team also monitored changes in the magnetic field direction, expecting it to shift noticeably once outside the sun's influence and into the interstellar medium, a thin, ionized gas influenced by nearby stars. However, much to scientists' surprise, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 detected no significant change in magnetic field orientation upon crossing the heliopause. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause, marking humanity's first entry into interstellar space. It began transmitting data confirming a sharp increase in plasma density, a definitive sign of leaving the Sun's magnetic bubble. But the absence of a major magnetic field shift challenged existing theories and sparked new questions about the nature of this boundary. Voyager's incredible journey has rewritten our understanding of the solar system's frontier and the nature of space beyond the sun's influence. Despite operating with technology designed in the early 1970s and computer systems with less memory than a basic calculator, the spacecraft continued to function thanks to the dedication and ingenuity of NASA's mission teams. The twin Voyagers remain humanity's farthest ambassadors, drifting ever deeper into the cosmic ocean. Each day, their signals traverse billions of kilometers to reach Earth, a faint whisper carrying secrets of distant worlds and the space between stars. Their legacy reminds us of the power of human curiosity, the importance of perseverance, and the wonders that await when we dare to explore the unknown. What do you think of this incredible journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Spaceloop so you never miss an update from the frontiers of space.